I brought you a bag full of rootin' tootin' tricks. One, two, three, four, five, and six. The funniest man in the whole human race is gonna put a smile on your face. Just keep laughing, get rid of that frown. Bozo is back, the one and only Bozo the Clown. Whoa, howdy, boys and girls. Leaping lizards, I sure am glad you're here because we're gonna have a bozorific time. Would you pals like to see some of my crazy adventures? <laughs> well, all righty dighty, sit back, fasten your seatbelts because we're in for some bozorific fun and comical clown capers. <laughs> And 
I'll just make a nice three-point landing right on top of that little old mail cord. I must be out of gas, and I've done forgot my credit card. But I can always bail out. That's more than you can do in a land vehicle. You know, this answers a question. I often wondered why they call this a rip cord. Wacko! What are you doing here? Oh, I just dropped in to wind up the case of mail sack jack. You know what? For the first time, we're beginning to see eye to eye. <laughs> Before. You'll have to clue me in on it, cousin. First, we find a real rare kind of bird. That's how I like my birds. Real rare. Slurp, slurp. <laughs> then, we just watch them. Get the picture? Just watch them? You do the watching, I'll do the eating. Now, cut that out, wacko. We're not about to eat any birds. But are we vegetarians or something, huh? According to this bird book, we're in ring-necked eagle country. According to my book, my cookbook, that is, young birds roast up real easy. Wacko, you can't eat eagles. <coughs> Sounds like an eagle lives on top of that skinny old rock. You mean that's one of them delicious little old birds up there? Wait a minute. Relax, cousin. I'm just gonna check out that little old nest for eagles. Don't go near that fierce eagle. He's dangerous. That's strange. I can't hear a word. He's a hollering. <laughs> Instinct tells me something's up. Or I'm the way up. Big man going around bothering us helpless boy. Big deal. It's getting so an eagle isn't even safe in broad daylight. I tell you, this scale in the heights bit is like work. I promise to protect my kid brother. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I thought I'd never get in reach of it. <laughs> he sure is a hard cold little old fella, isn't he? I didn't know eagles wore star teeth. Yeah! Oh! You put the bite on him. <laughs> Wacko, you mean to stand there with that wolfish grin and tell me you're gonna try again? I got me a gizmo this time what's gonna get me to the top. Yeah, but what if that eagle burst your balloon, buffoon? This here little old play toy is punk cure proof. <laughs> I'm sure getting up in the world. All right, all right. Poppy, I'd hop it toes. Look at what's coming at me. If I miss it, I'm a goner for sure. <laughs> you know what? I'm sure gonna have an awful headache in the morning. <laughs> With this guy around, who needs the TV set? Wait a minute, Wacko. That stuff's dynamite. I wouldn't fool around with it. That's exactly what it is. Dynamite. And I'm not fooling. There's a time to stay and a time to go. And I'm gone! <laughs> Move over, cousin, because things are sure going to boom, boom real soon. That stuff should have ought to gone off by now. I better, like, look into what's holding up that boom-boom. Wait, Wacko! Come back! By 
goes, that was a humdinger of an ear ringer. tell you a whale of a tale. <laughs> hey, look, there's my Aunt Chovy. <laughs> I wanted to bring a net with me, but a net couldn't be here. <laughs> well, pals, enough of watching me flounder around. You pals watch fish tank pranks. <laughs> to show you the biggest fishbowl in the whole world. Uh-huh. And there it is. Ocean land of the sea. A real educational place. May we have your attention, ladies and gentlemen. Ocean land requests that children be accompanied by adults at all times. Hey, does that include me too, Bozo? You bet your sweet life it does, Belinda. Oh, it does? <laughs> Golly, just look at all the different kinds of fish. There's a catfish. And there's a mouse fish. And here comes a dogfish. What kind of a fish is this one? Oh, that's easy. See all those patches? Uh-huh. It's a poor fish. <laughs> Look at that one, Bozo. A Bozo fish? Now, how about that? <laughs> <laughs> I'll say one thing for this place. There's something fishy going on every minute. Right, Belinda? Huh? Belinda, she's gone. Whoa, it can't be. But it sure is. Belinda's in the deep, dank old fish tank. You better get out of there before you swim right into trouble. Oh, my golly gosh. Now she's paddling right into double trouble. <laughs> Holy mackerel. Boy, the fish sure are biting today. You come out of there, I'm coming in after you. Hurry up. You know better than to fool around when this clown puts his foot down? Well, anyway, that got a rise out of the little dickens. I better go up topside and fish her out of this fish-type fish tank. Next stop's the top. See you later, escalator. And now here are Ocean Land's leaping, dancing dolphins. Watch them hurtle through the hoop. Well, Linda must have come up somewhere around here. Keep your eyes on that hoop, folks. And here comes Flipper. It's a perfect bullseye. And here's Flapper right behind him. Another bullseye. Belinda! Now cut that out and come back here! Zowie! Right through the hoop into the soup! This time, Flapper's in the lead, folks. Isn't that beautiful form? Wowie! Isn't that great precision? Oceanland doesn't know who the little girl is, but isn't she terrific, folks? Her name's Belinda, and she's doing it on purpose. And I'm gonna put a stop to it right now. I better step on it. Hey, Mac, get away from the edge of that tank. We keep gobbles the whale in there. And we haven't fed that whale yet. I've got that old sinking sensation. Oh, no. Not that. Go back, Belinda. No, no. Go back. Not this way. The other way. Faster, Belinda, faster. Look out in back of you. Crinkly crabs and jumping sand dabs. I gotta bail Belinda out of that whale. Let her out of there, you overgrown minnow. Hi, Bozo. What are you doing in here? Me? I'm 
getting you out of this here whale. You what? Now I'll just turn on the air valve on this old diving helmet and inflate this whale from tip to tail. Hang on to me, Belinda, and here we go. Up, up, up to Daisy. And down like crazy. Gee, that was super. <laughs> do it again, Bosa. Do it again? Uh -huh. I didn't want to do it the first time. <laughs> now, Bozo. Well, but you boy, this is Thursday, and if my miscalculations are corrected, <laughs> we're over in New York or Africa, or neither or either or both. Golly, maybe we better land and see for sure where we are. Roger Dodger, over, in, and out, and down. Well, here we are, wherever we are. Help, help, somebody. We're somebody's. Yep, let's go diddly go. Cheapers, Bozo. Look at. Boo, boo, boo. Help! Help, help! Save me! Uh, I'm scared to pieces of Mises. Boo, boo, you one button panty waist. Boo! Please, Mr. Meese, go away. One side so I can lower the kaboom on that teeny weeny meeny. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Jumbo is a sissy. Jumbo is a sissy. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> you can come down now, Phil. The mouse went over the hill. Oh, thanks, Mr. Clown. <laughs> I saw Bozo. He was standing where you're sitting. Pickled peanuts. I'd better get up. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Bozo. But if you ever need a friend, Bella, just Bella. And if you ever need a flattened down clown, buddy, just look in the yellow pages. We'll do. Total be do. We're in luck, Big Shorty. There's a clown. So who wants a clown, Short Biggie? We do, you big knucklehead. We do? Remember old King Bingo Bongo's deal? Well, the king tossed his last funny type jester to the crocodiles. Yeah? And he's offering big dough for a new funny man. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So get going and grab the clown. <laughs> Come along, Cloudy. You're King Bingo Bango's new funny face, eh? Now, just a done poking minute, whomsoever you are. Bozo, remember what our itty bitty big buddy said? Yeah, if you ever need a friend, bell her. So, yeah, maybe you ought to bell her louder like so. That was a real elephant trunk trunk, buddy. Aren't you a little big to be taking an afternoon nap? Now, where's the clown? Clown? Oh, does he pack a wall we water? Nice to have met you again, itty bitty buddy, and thanks a hunk. Oh, twant nothing. I always carry a trunk full of Sunday punches for a friend. <laughs> Toodle do again. Oh, the elephant is the fly in the ointment. So you got big protection, huh? Huh? Oh, yeah. And any time we need it, all we have to do is yell, Help! <laughs> Shorty! Like I always 
say a friend in need is a friend indeed. <laughs> You know, juggling's all about catching, so pals, catch this next crazy cartoon! <laughs> Bozo, the world's most famous clown, in Chicken Burglar Bungler. chicken coop. Uh, like, uh, cluck, cluck. Great act, Mac. He will take you for the hen, then let him have it with both barrels. Yeah, you're not just clucking Dixie. See you later, incubator. Queen? Chicken Ketchumatari? Yum, yummy! This one is nice and fatty! Fatty? Of all the insults, you know, you're no TV star either. And you're no tender young hen neither. Right, I'm more of a, a, a tough old rooster. <laughs> Oh! 
moon. In Big Tree Spree. Roses are red, petunias are too. Trees gotta be watched, and that's what we do. Gee, Bozo, you're a real forest ranger type singer. You think so, Butchie? Nothing like singing up a breeze in the trees. Well, it sure looks peaceful and quiet down there. Bleaking binoculars! You mean it did look peaceful? What's cooking, Bozo? Wacko Wolf's cooking up something, and it spells trouble for our trees. Did you ever get the feeling like you was being watched? What's old Wacko up to now? He took off like a big bird, but he'll be back making like a lumberjack. Well, this here forest is just a crawling with kindling. My stars, just look at that giant top tree over there, a towering over all the others. Well, maybe I was wrong about Wacko. Looks like he's gone for good. Yeah, Bozo. Let's eat now. Well, shake my shingle. It must be some kind of real hardy har hard type wood. Boy, I'm so hungry I could eat a horse with ketchup on it. Well, here's the ketchup. Where's your horse? <laughs> like here goes nothing. What was that? An earthquake? Earthquake, smurfquake. It was more like a ketchup in my face quake. That does it. Tisk, tisk. This old tree is cutting my axe to ribbon. But I'll just keep wackoing away. Hey, down there. Quit rocking the boat. Now cut that out. Well, squeeze me till my eyeballs pop and call me an old froggy toad. What y'all doing up there in that old treehouse, Cousin Clowny? Keeping a lookout for a tree-whacking wolf next like you. Is that a fact? Well, look out there, Mac. Hate folks who drop in on you without calling. Are you all right, Bozo? Me? I'm fit as a fiddle. And I'm fixing to demobilize that whack happy wolf. California, IA, here I come. The work of that fur tree filching whack wolf gone. Looks like I'm out on a limb, but I'm not. This is just my branch office. Pretty shrewd, huh? <laughs> yeah, Boy, when I go after something, I really get it. Some fellers might be at the end of their rope by now, but I'm just getting the hang of this naughty business. I'll just haul out of here in high gear and take that treetop tree with me. <laughs> now I got me my own tree and nothing's gonna stop me. You know, I can't see the forest for the trees. Oh. That wacko can't play hide-and-seek with me and get away with it. Oh, no! Not that! Once and for all, I'm gonna get me a tree. Like, it's gonna be raining lumber around here any second now. Don't do it! It's dynamite! What'd you think it was? Asparagus tips? Well, will you blink your big blue eyes and look at that! That's old Wacko, always getting himself in a hole. <laughs> Some days I just can't do anything right. <laughs> Bozo, the world's most famous clown. In Ski Lodge, Hodgepodge. Wintertime in Boza World. The setting sun slowly sinks behind lofty Mount Bozo. Yes, sir. 
Dee Dee. We sure had a money-making weekend here at old Hodgepodge Ski Lodge. Money-making? Them wordies is sure music to my pointed ears. I'll just call a Blink's messenger to bank this money in the bank. Blinkin' blankin' and nutnick reportin' to make a fast dash with your cash. Just a chicken pickin' minute, wacko. You're no Blink's messenger. I am so. You are not. You trying to say a Blink's messenger would tell a bare-faced lie? Then where's your uniform? Oh, uniform? Yep, all Blink's messengers wear uniforms. They do? Well, I'm an undercover messenger, because I left my uniform to home under the covers. To home? How come? Uh, er, uh, because today's my day off, and I'm wearing my play clothes. <laughs> play clothes? Yeah, so I'll just play like making off with the tape. Wacko! Stop, you crooked crook! Uh-oh. Now what are my feet stuck in? Skis. Skis. Yeah! Come back with that sack. Not me, Jack. I got a clear track. You know, this tree climbing's for the birds. Yeah! Oh, 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 How lucky can you get? Imagine finding a cactus in a snow drift. Oh, 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 oh. Yep, the bad guys always get it in the end. Doodly doo to you. They ought to teach Wacko not to mess around as a money messenger. This'll part that clown sweet tooth from the loot. Bomb the way. Whoa, wee. That looks just like a bowling ball. If it didn't have that confused fuse. Can't do that to me. That was my idea. One king size surprise coming down. I can hardly wait to hear the big. Searching through pies, looking for the lost Van Goop necklace. <laughs> Watchman's job in a pie factory is yum, yum, yummy, Butch. Look, Bozo, a light just popped on in the bakery. 
Now get gone, big shorty, and find that pie. The one with the goodies? Right. The one you hid the Van Goop necklace in. The Van Goop jewels are buried in this raspberry pie. So toss it over. Bird brain, this is a custard pie. Shoot, I gave you the wrong pie. Likewise, the wrong pan. Now start finding the right pie and pronto. This pie factory is closed nights. What's your alibi? Alibi? Why, we're genuine government pie inspectors. Well, there's no inspector waiting to be done here, so get. Just as you say, Private Clown Eye. But Short Biggie, we can't scoot without the loot. Loot! So you're crooked crooks. We're not twisted twisters. Help, please! Get that squealer. Help! Pie burglars! Butch, get the police! Help! Help! Don't let them get away. Which way did he go? That way. This way? Anyway, just stop that clown. Jiminy, I gotta get help fast. Get going, feet! Grab the clown! Here I am, here I am! Looks like a free ride coming up. Nothing like these newfangled moving type sidewalks to make a getaway. Gee, he gave us the slippery slip. And I'll give him the old switcheroonie. Look, Shorty, one half-baked clown. Half-baked? I'm burned to a crisp. You short biggie, I'm getting nowhere fast. Listen, little Jack Horner, you better stick in your thumb and pull out a necklace instead of a plum. Shucks, I can't remember which pie. Honest. Honest? There's no such word in your vocabulary. Question my honest type honor, will you? Yeah, I question it. Oh, you do, do you? <laughs> Take that! And here's a tasty tart from me... ...to you. Uh-oh. Stop throwing those... ...pies! Pies? We got millions of them. Then you won't mind one more. <laughs> Look at that pie picking chicken! <laughs> hey, Clowny looks like a Saint Bernard dog. <laughs> and you're shaping up like an ape. <laughs> Take that! Give him one more for the road, Biggie. Yeah, this one's on the house. Well, hidey high, there's a necklace in this pie. Real sparklers. Huh? Hey! Nice going, pal. No, oh, thanks. Let's grab the jewels and scram. Nothing to stop us now. No, nothing but the arm of the law. Fine work, Bozo. You found the Van Goop necklace. And these galoots to boot. Thanks, Ossifer. But for a while, it was touch and throw. <laughs> Whirp! Lemon! My flavor and favor! <laughs> This must be the place. Are you going to show me Bozo World now like you promised, huh? Sure I will. But first, I got some jobs to doodly-doo. Can I help you doodly-doo your job, Bozo? Indeedy doody you can. Let's see. I have to water the elephant and, uh... Oh, boy, I'll water the elephant for you. Then I'll check the high wire and, uh... Hey, look, Bozo! I'm watering the elephant here. Good for you. Wowee! Don't do it, Belinda! Turn it off! Turn it off! It's off, Bozo! Gosh, old pollywogs! <laughs> Don't 
Don't you know when you get an elephant wet, they never, ever forget? Never, ever forget? You mean they hold grudges? No! That just isn't the way you ought to water elephants. Oh. Now cut that out, Mr. Elephant! Bozo, you better tell Mr. Elephant that just isn't the way you ought to water a clown. <laughs> what are we going to do next, Bozo? Well, you're going to stay down here. And I'm going to go up there. Whoa, wee Way far up there? Is that a high wire? Well, it isn't a clothesline. <laughs> you really going way up there? Yep. And I'll be back in the flash of an eyelash if I don't crash. <laughs> it's a good thing I'm a dip-top, tippity-toe, tight, toot toot tilly doot Walking clown. Yes, sir, EDD. You've got to be a well balanced type clown to do this without falling down. Bozo, look at me. Oh, no. See? No hands. Go back, Belinda. Go back. I can't. I haven't learned how to go backwards yet. as soon as I finish one last ding-dong dandy chore. See over there? I have to inspect that super-duper hurricane roller coaster. Oh, I love roller coasters. Well, this ought to coast the most because I don't see any cracks in the tracks. Well, here's the brake. This ought to make it go. Oh, no, you don't, you little rascal. That's dangerous. You've helped me enough for one day, Belinda, and I sure want to thank you. You're welcome. But from now on, I'll do the testing. There she goes! Smoother than greased lightning! She sure does, Bozo! Oh, my golly gosh! Belinda! I'll hit her off at the overpass! I'll be a run-down clown! I just haven't the pep to pick him up and put him down anymore. Both of all people! Gee, I'm glad you dropped in. I'm kind of hysterical with relief myself. Gee! With little old Belinda around, life is full of ups and downs. <laughs> I know I did, and you know what's even more fun? Rewinding your bozo tape so we can start the laughs all over again. <laughs> well, pals, don't forget that old bozo adjective. It's nice to be important, but it's more important to be nice. And just remember what your old pal bozo always says. Just keep laughing! <laughs> Hi, pals! Look at all the great shows available from Just For Kids Home Video! For stories that deal with issues of importance to everyone, it's the all-new adventures of Seabird in Good Guys Wear White.
time when there's an endangered species everywhere, from the jungles to the mountains to the seas. You'll be glad you have friends like Seabird and his brave young friends, Tommy and Aura. More whale massacres. These hunters are going to kill every last one unless we do something. It's just terrible. The whale has no natural enemies, and yet it's disappearing completely from our seas. Let's get to work. We're leaving tomorrow. Be careful. Bye-bye. 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 Be careful. We miss you. In this all-new release, you'll join them in saving tropical parrots from poachers, the rainforests from senseless destruction, the mighty gorillas from heartless hunters, and the creatures of the sea from toxic waste. Of course, when you're in the wilds of the world, not all your enemies are two-legged. Some of them are no-legged at all. And that's right up Seabert's alley. Save my life, little creature, and I don't even know who you are. How can I repay you? Ah, you want me to go with you? An acclaimed educational tool as well as a joyous adventure. It's a series to be viewed and talked about by the whole family. Seabird. Good guys wear white. Yeah! Get ready to lose yourself in the beauty and the wonder of a journey through fairyland. Just when Michael finds himself out of tune with this world, he finds himself in total harmony with another world and in love with a special new friend. She takes him on a magical trip to those wondrous places where all beautiful things come from. Flower land the incredible music land where you'll meet the most lovable characters to ever fill your screen the cuddle bubbles the flower fairies and the most mischievous little eighth note ever treble it's a journey you'll never forget through a world of breathtaking beauty adrift on the flow of endless music I have come here to see Michael. From original love songs to great masterpieces from the world of symphonies. This small sampling isn't enough to convince you. Listen to what the critics have to say. Young viewers should be uplifted by the images of love and success in this gentle tale. Adults, too, will find the animation and music compelling. Stunning sequences to jumpstart a child's developing imagination. And something like a journey through fairyland comes along once in a great while. Best to snap it up while it's here. Recorded in stunning stereo by the famed Tokyo Philharmonic, this full-length animated feature is the perfect introduction to classical music for all. For an experience to remember forever, you don't want to miss a journey through fairyland. The Bobble Bobs are the funniest, craziest bunch of space guys you'll ever see. And wait till you see their spaceship. Now here's the Bobble Bobs. We're all on a space trip, a very funny space trip. Nothing's ever what it seems, a silly dream. Or maybe you should join us on our space trip, our very funny space trip. A planetary run around our star.
much to do. Now come aboard with the Bobble Bobs. Now this is one great movie. If you didn't see it when it played at the movie theater, you should be glad Just For Kids has it on video. It's a fun movie to watch with the whole family too. Here's some Katie and the Caterpillar Kids. I know someone who can teach us to fly. Really? Who? Follow me and you'll find out. Shh. Stand this way. Well, come on. Mom, are you sure there's no danger? Mom says that. Uh, yeah, Mommy says a lot of things. But sometimes she ex uh, exaggerates, yeah. Do you want to learn how to fly or not? What do you say? Of course I do. Well, then come on. Come on, you little bee. get bugged, watch Katie and the Caterpillar Kids. We're proud to present the winner of the prestigious Gemini Award for the best animated series, Ovid. Your host, look outside, look out, Bobo, party crashing, so no, no, I'll catch that sneaky snake, guys, break for love. Tough luck, son, yeah, you super sly, but Groner, no gross party. Can ruin Ovid's party. Oh, no? The joint is hopping. Come on, let's drop in for more tall tales of Ovid video. Video. The gang's all here. Let's get on with the show. Yeah, let's go. And now tall tales of Ovid video. Ovid's enchanted magical world is a South Seas paradise just bursting with fuzzy, furry characters like those three cuddly koala kids, Do Re Mi, the wacky, worm chasing lizard, Polo, the platypus punster, Grona, the chicken loving, egomaniac, Saffron, and the sleepiest, laziest sloth ever, Alvin. In endless, side-splitting, riotous action, they match their collective wits against two wily half-wits, Psy the Sneaky Snake, and his unbelievably bird-brained buddy, Bobo. With television screens popping up all over the place, no one ever runs out of ideas for getting into or out of trouble. You won't believe your eyes and ears. It's a knockout of a show. <laughs> Chock full of belly laughs. Two hours and ten episodes big. It's OV, an award-winning production that's become a video dream come true. <laughs> Thank you. 